From Los Angeles, California, this is Burncast and I'm the bomb. Okay, we're back again with O. Tony, and uh, this is part two of a two-part interview. I know that you guys were just hanging on your seats waiting to hear the second part of this, because here's my question to Tony now. Would you tell us a story about magic and synchronicity on the playa? Magic and synchronicity on the playa. Okay, actually, I'm going to tell two stories. first one's real short. Uh, First year I went to Burning Man, uh, I, I didn't really hang with the people I camped with very much, so I didn't have a lot of interaction with them. With them, so I was really surprised when someone that I really didn't hang with at all called me when we got back home. Who was that? Uh, I don't remember now. Mm, okay. I don't remember now. Someone from Home Slice. Uh, but they found a, a disposable camera out on the playa, and they figured, well, let's take it home and get the pictures developed. What the hell? How fun! Yeah. Uh, long story short, they found my camera the, that I had lost on the playa the night before and known it was mine because they saw all these pictures of me. Oh, how cool. That's so, but that's a short story. Here's a long story. Uh, 2003, I met Cinder Camp and I see this, this really cute English girl. She's red hair. She, her name is Victoria. We did the little phone thing. You, you could call on the phone to someone else in, you know, oh, in, in Cinder, Cinder Camp. camp. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah. we flirted a little bit. She took me back to her camp, gave me a, 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 a foot bath, and uh, they said, well, we should hang out on the night of the burn. Score. Cool. Right. <laughs> so we go out there. We go out there. And, uh, uh, like, the man burns. And she wants to move closer to the fire. She, you know, we, she, we move closer. You know, we're holding hands. She drops the mask. She's been wearing a mask. She drops it. Picks it up. I let go of her hand. Two people pass between us. Gone. <gasps> She's Gone. Gone gone looked for her around went back to my camp because she knew where i camped. went back to her camp because i knew where she camped she wasn't there and then went back and danced for a while was bummed and then just packed my car and drove back oh went back to camp and someone said oh tony there was this really cute english girl looking for you a couple hours ago oh my god right so that was one year and then two years later oh you never saw her again never saw her again oh my god two years later at burning man I'm walking around. I'm at center camp, Victoria again. Oh, how you doing? And this was like on Thursday. It actually, it may have been on like Saturday or something like that. How you doing? Good to blah blah blah. Well, I'm gonna come by and see you. I went by her camp to see her. So you know, want to hang out for Bruna? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for whatever reason, I think I actually may have met someone else, or I'm not sure what happened. But for whatever reason, again, never saw her again. Oh my God. Last year. And you yeah. never had her contact information? No, I didn't. Oh, wow. I didn't even know it's her last name. Oh, I know. wow. So last year, I go back and now go the entire week. It's now Sunday morning. The man is burned. My car is packed. I'm driving back to LA. I go back to center camp to get some coffee. Victoria again. Again. Wow. And uh, we sat and we talked for a little while, had some coffee and, and you know, and... Uh, it's just crazy. That's we just keep running into her and can't get... Is that synchronicity or is that a misconnection? That is a misconnection, but a synchronicity that we keep running into each other over and over again. Like the is going, hey, look at that. Oh, you can't have it. <laughs> oh, hey, you, this is really... Oh, I'm sorry. You can't Would have Would you it. like this? No, you can't. I'm sorry. It's not for you. I know, exactly. So uh, <laughs> that's, uh, that's the playa effect. So, do you know where she, how to get hold of her now? Yes, I do. Oh, I have okay. her email. Uh, I, I have, she, she's on uh, Facebook. I got the whole thing. Oh, okay. I don't know if she's going to Burning Man this year. Do you know what? What? Why she's not going? Or are you I, just, I don't know oh. if she is going or not. I haven't asked her yet. Uh-huh. Does she live in England? She lives in England. Oh, wow. Right? Wow. You got to admire those people. Like, we think we have a long drive from L.A., but then there's just people who come from other countries year in. Well, what, what she does, she and her, she has a friend that she travels with, a guy who's gay. Friends, so they they go together. They fly into San Francisco, rent a cube truck, go to a, a a thrift store, buy furniture, throw it into the truck, and then drive to Burning Man. And she had the sweetest setup, man. She's got a, a little bed. She's uh-huh. got sofa. She's got lights and everything and everything. And, uh, and that's how they do it. Easy. Yeah. Easy. All right. So that leads me to an obvious question. Now I've been asking all my guests. Uh, do you have any advice for the virgin burner? Yes. 
Um, I have advice for the virgin guy burner. Ah. Okay. So if you're a guy, you're going to Burning Man. It's going to be very easy to fall into the trap of going there and making Burning Man about getting laid. This is something that I still deal with after seven trips, six trips to Burning Man, right? Okay. So here's the, the I find key. that hard to believe, but go on. Well, and, and, and you know what, and here's the other thing, because you go there and you feel like you're disappointed, and then it's not till you get to back to Burning Man that you realize that you had a good time. I've had two relationships with people that I've met at Burning Man, right? So it can happen. But if you go there with with your thought of I'm going to go there to get laid, it's going to fuck you up. You're, 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 it, it will, because you'll be so. It's it, it's almost guaranteed to not get laid if you go with there with the idea of getting laid. And then conversely, if you go there and don't get laid, you know if it's like I'm not here to get laid. You know that you increase your chances of getting laid. So it's hard to wrap your mind around it. So here's my tip: the key is to flirt. Ah. Flirt your ass off. You know, uh, touch, kiss, giggle, rub, do anything but don't have sex, you know. Because once you know that I'm not going to have sex with you, in fact, even if you told a girl and say, you know what, I would love to play around with you, but I, I, I don't want to have sex with you. Is that okay? <laughs> And then I go, yeah, finally, yes. So, you know, now you can kiss. And, and if you do this well enough, first, first of all, if you don't get laid, who cares? Think about all the fun you had. And if you do it well enough, eventually you'll drive someone so crazy that you have no choice but to fuck them. <laughs> and that's my advice. <laughs> that's the best advice. <laughs> It's the best version well, it's, of it's true, That's man. awesome. It's true, yeah. All right, so now, advice to the jaded veteran burner. Don't go to Burning Man. <laughs> if you're jaded, don't go. That's that's it. There's nothing I if you're a, if, if you're a veteran burner, there's nothing I can tell you. You know it all. You know we've been there. We know what it's we've like. We've met them. Yeah, yeah, we've met them and. And a lot of them are not going this year, too. Yeah. And that's cool. I almost didn't go this year myself. Maybe I won't go next year. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. All right. So let's wrap this up. Let's knock anything out you want our audience to know as we close it out. All right. Um, oh, in case, you, in case you didn't see the first one, the oh, first, yeah. the previous one, yeah. um, uh, I did a one-man show called Burner Tales from the Playa, which I wrote and performed. Very touching, very funny. Personal story of my six visits to Burning Man. It's on my website. You can go see it. It's at www.otony.com. Click on the Burner Tales from the Playa link. It's up there. It's in four parts. Also, there's a link if you want to contribute to my getting to Burning Man, because that is my biggest uh, obstacle this year is money. So if you want to contribute a dollar five dollars twenty dollars whatever just click on the link and send me to burning man hey you guys and the bombs i've got one too i'd love to go to burning man if i could afford it if you want to donate one million dollars send the bomb you know she told me she i don't want to go to burning man this year she's because she's a veteran burner and she's all jaded and shit oh, and she's right. going and she's going i don't want to go i don't want to go so i talked to her today and she, and she goes and i said i said Bob, if, if I give you $1,000, would you go to Burning Man? <laughs> Absolutely! So she's changed her mind, people. We've got to get this woman to Burning Man. So go to burncast.org. TV. Uh, uh, burncast.tv and click and donate to her. In fact, give her more money than you give me. In fact, don't give me money. Give it all to her. Let's just, I've got the Let's ticket. send the colored people to the Can Burning Man. Send the colored people to Burning Man. Obama! Obama! <laughs> It's time for hope, people. It's time for change. Do your part, all right? What would Brock do? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Is that it? Are we done? That's it. All right, take us home. Thank you so much. My pleasure. See you on the playa. See you on the playa.